Father, we see Jesus Christ, can you come down to me today and prove yourself? Where are you, Jesus? This man here claimed to be Satan. This atheist got very angry as soon as he heard me talk about Jesus. Are you going to listen to an answer? Are you going to listen to an answer, sir? Yeah. 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 People yeah. say we may come as a money. Right? Right. How many so questions? Why do you think it's coming out? We come from H. H. Okay. This might look like a joke, but this man was definitely ready to try and silence me whilst I was preaching. Do you think I've ever looked at bad things with these eyes? I have. You see these fists here? Look at these fists. Do you think that these fists have ever hit anyone before? What do you think? I wouldn't. I wouldn't touch you. No, no, I wouldn't touch you. But I'm saying, no, that these fists, they have. They have done things. I've done wrong. I've done bad things. This can beat your death and make it wonderful. I like what this man is. I'm not perfect, I'm a sinner, I'm a dreadful person, you know, and it's only the grace of God. A little earlier, we gave these young people a John's Gospel. This is how they tread the Word of God. Rose from the dead, what do you think of it? Uh, we've got a friend here, well, there's a man over and he's ripped up a John's Gospel. Why have you ripped up a Gospel, you know? Well, okay, thank you, sir. It's this man, I asked this man, can I just have that, sorry. Uh, this, we, we were giving out John's Gospels, fair enough, you might not agree with it, we were giving out portions of the Bible and uh, a young man's ripped it up and given it back, that's fine. Uh, and I asked him why and he said, because my dad's left me. Now can I, can I pull this back to you sir? Did, was it God who made your dad leave or did yeah. your dad do it? God created man. Well, people, no, God gave you freedom of choice. Yeah. Yeah, go. Correct. Correct or not? God gave us free will. Correct or not? You believe in God? No, I don't. So then why is it wrong? Oh, so why, why are you calling to God if he doesn't exist? You're saying, you're not normal. 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 you are saying you are not you are 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 you he did. I'm actually a married man, okay? Believe it or not. I know. No, believe it or not. But do you think that I've ever made my wife cry before? What do you think? What? 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 Do you think I have? Yes, I have. Yeah, I have, okay? Do you think I've ever told lies before? What do you think? Yeah? You see these fish? I know I'm a dweeb, but do you think I've ever hit anyone before? I have, yeah. But now ask me this question. Am I going to heaven? No, no. No, you don't think I am. I am actually. But not because I'm a good person. Because there are two types of people are getting to heaven. Perfect people and forgiven people. And none of us are perfect, okay? But every single one okay, of us wait, can wait, be wait. forgiven. You enjoy that, babe. Listen, listen. That's fine. Stop shaming women for choices. I'm not shaming women. Say. I'm... Listen, listen, babe. You're the one who brought this argument up, okay? This gentleman here said that he is the oldest man on earth and that he's also related to Dorian Gray. Have any of those gods died for you? Have any of those gods... Can any of those gods give you eternal What's life? What about the cult? Pardon? Devil's cult. The devil's cult that can save you. Is that what you're saying, sir? You believe that? Have you never heard of Dorian Gray? I have heard of Dorian Gray, yes. Well, I'm his cousin. You're his cousin, okay. You right. don't believe me, do you? I'm right. 170 years old. You're 170 years old. Can I ask you a question, you. Steve? Do you know where you're going when you die? So yeah. Ta Steve, imagine tonight is your last night on planet Earth, and you step into eternity, and you face God, and he says, why should I let you into my heaven, Stephen? What him, would your answer be? I tell him to get stuffed and go with devil. You say, get stuffed and go with the devil. That's what this well, you've heard it here, but he can't help you, can he? He sent his son Jesus to bleed and die on a cross for I'm you. I'm not buried, so I believe in. I'm interested in God. You're interested I've in good? Okay, so this man, my friend Stephen said he's interested in good. Can I ask you a question, Stephen? Are you a good person? Would you say you're a good person? Oh, I'm evil. You're evil? Why do you say you're evil, Stephen? Because like Al Capone. You like Al Capone, okay. Can I ask you a question? I don't mean to be rude, but do you, do you smoke anything? I don't smoke, I don't drink, but um, I'm just a spirit. In You're a spirit, okay, Stephen. Well, 
Uh, if you want to go with Stephen's religion, you're, you're fair welcome. dues to you. But I'm telling you, there's a God man, Jesus Christ, who hung on a cross for sinners. He loves you good. and he died there. All the wrong that you've done, all the worst things you've done, it was laid on him. And he shed his blood on that cross. They, they plucked out his beard. They smashed the crown of thorns into his skull. He was nailed there between two thieves. And he died there out of love for you. So if you call out to him, you can be forgiven. Did you know this, my friends? Did you know there are two types of people that get to heaven? Perfect people and forgiven people. Now, is there anyone here today who can raise their hand and say, I'm perfect? I'm perfect. You say you're perfect. I do it. I change people's lives. I counsel them. I take them. Are you ready? I get them jobs. I get them back with the wife, not like you. Compulsive gambler like I was. I changed the life for them. But Donald, you're you're you judging me a little bit now, though. Donald, can I just say this? Okay, let me just say you're doing to the people. Nothing at all. I'm standing here saying, okay, I am a bad person. Before I was a I'm Christian, you, what I'm saying is this: there are two types of people that get to heaven: perfect people and forgiven people. So let me ask the people now: Are you perfect? We're not all we? We've all done wrong. Well, the good news is this: we can all be forgiven. I'll tell you why. Do you know they spat on Jesus? They spat on him. They put a crown of thorns on his head, so the blood trickled over Were you his eyes. He hung there on that cross. He died there on that cross. Were you, were you there? Listen, listen. It's, it's Jesus, you were there. Do you believe what the Bible? I do believe what the Bible, the Bible says. Yes, a man writes all this nonsense. We don't know who writes this nonsense. If the Jew, I'm Jewish, okay. by the way. I don't. I'm a bad Jew. But I don't believe in all this crap about the seas open, the walk through, all the nonsense and all that Well, crap. Donald, are you saying you don't believe in and God then? And you believe... Donald, I'll, I'll answer this question now. No, not at all. You don't Watch my conversation with Deadpool after he told me to stop preaching hell. Show them love. They will receive love. Okay, can you just wait one minute? I, I'll get my answer. So this man here, oh, what, what's your name, sorry? D to the P to the dead pool. D to the P to the dead too. Okay, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you're saying just just preach the love of Jesus, okay? Yeah, okay, but uh, uh, don't tell them about their sin. But why, why, where is it that we see that God demonstrates his love for us? How do we see that? We see it through spreading his word of love, okay. not his word of anger. But why is once, once you talk about sins, it just gets the mindset of people about anger. When you talk about love, when you talk about heaven to them, they will love it way much more than hearing about hell. Yeah. Hell is fearful. Yeah. Heaven is beautiful. Yeah. And talking about hell will make people get towards heaven. Not really much. But if you talk about heaven, people will get unconsciously yeah. walk towards heaven. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I agree. I, I want to preach heaven. I want to preach the love of God more than the judgment. There is a hell. There is a very real hell. And all of us are going... Yeah, but can I just say this, sir? You, what, what concerned me more than anything is when you said, don't mention sin. Now, the only way that we know that God loved us is because Jesus Christ died on a cross for our sins. This man who you saw at the beginning is called Gary. And I believe this is the worst blasphemy I've ever seen. Which one do you want to talk about? Jesus is dead and Brown. He isn't, no, is he? I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Before you said to me that Jesus was a bit like Darren Brown, okay? Now, I'll tell you, Darren Brown, if Darren Brown can die and then three days later bring himself back from the dead, okay, I'll put my faith in Darren Brown. But only Jesus Christ has done that, and that's the reason why he split time in two. If you don't mind me asking, Gary, what year were you born in? 1984. 1984 years after who? After Jesus. And that's why we put our faith in him. That's why he split time in two. He rose from the dead. Really? And that's why he's worth following. Jesus Christ, can you come down to me today? And prove yourself. Okay. Where are you? Jesus! Where is he? Gary, are you drunk? Have you been drinking today, Gary? Have I? I don't. I kind of just. A, a little warning there, okay? I'm not. I don't want to come down on you, but just be careful speaking to God like that, because one day he might show up, okay? And I, I'm just saying, but do you know this, Gary? This is really serious. Gary, Jesus deeply loves you. And if you'll come to him, if you'll put your faith in him, you'll come to the cross, he promises to forgive you, and wash your white and snow. I just want to ask again, if anyone's not too embarrassed, to take a portion of the Bible from a ginger, you'll have one. Thank you, Gary. Thanks. The Bible puts it like this. Jesus said, Behold, I go, and I'm going to prepare a place for you. In my Father's house there are many mansions. And I'm asking you today, do you have a mansion prepared for you in heaven? Do you know how you get it? I'll tell you how you get it. You need to come to the cross. You've heard that story, haven't you, at Easter time? 
the rugged cross where Jesus Christ died for sinners. On that cross, your sin put him on the cross. Your lies, the times you've watched things on the internet that are disgusting, the times that you've hated people, the times you've stolen things, the times you've been proud, the time you cheated on your wife, the time you looked so much. All of these things were laid on Jesus Christ. And the Bible puts it like this. He became sin on that cross so that you might inherit the righteousness of Christ. So if you turn from your sin, if you admit you're a sinner, if you admit you've done wrong, if you put your trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, you can be washed whiter than snow. Would you like that? Would you like to know that this day, today, your sins can be washed away? We've all been to a river before, haven't we? And uh, maybe you've dropped something in a river uh, and you just see it washed away. Well, that's what the blue Jesus Christ can do for you today. Your sins can be washed down. Hey now, if you'd like to see the full videos of any of the clips that you've just watched, please check out this playlist here. You'll find them all over there. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please do consider subscribing. We'd really appreciate your friendship here at Off The Curve Ministries. God bless you all and thank you for watching.